Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to find the resistance of an element, such as a resistor or a light bulb or something like that. But we're going to do it in two ways. The first way is when both the current and the voltage in the circuit are given. The second method is going to use the, the indication that the power and the voltage is given. In the first case, let's say we have a circuit. We have a voltage source of 120 volts. We have a current of 5 amps. There's a load, a load resistor, a device that's connected to the circuit, and we're trying to find the resistance of that device. Since both the current and the voltage is given, we can find the resistance by simply using Ohm's law. We know that Ohm's law tells us that I is equal to V divided by R. If we solve that equation for R, we can then say that R is equal to V divided by I. We plug in the voltage, 120 volts, the current, 5 amps, and 5 goes to the 120, 24 times, so we know that R is equal to 24 ohms. That's pretty straightforward. A little bit more confusing is when they give you the power and the voltage, like in case number 2. Here we have a different circuit. The voltage is 120 volts, and we have a, let's say, a light bulb that's connected to the circuit, and the light bulb requires 100 watts, like a 100-watt light bulb, to operate properly, and we want to know the resistance of that light bulb. For that, we need to use the power equation. The power can be written as the I square R. In other words, the amount of power consumed by a device is the current squared times R. And the power delivered to that device can be written as power equals the product of I times the voltage. The amount of current the device draws times the voltage providing that current. We also want to use Ohm's law in this case by saying that I is equal to V divided by R. Going to this first equation, let's solve this for R. So we get R is equal to the power consumed divided by I squared. We can use this equation to find the current, which we then plug into this equation right here. So solving that equation for the current, we can write I is equal to the power divided by the voltage. Since both the power and the voltage are given, we can write I is equal to the power 100 watts divided by the voltage, 120 volts. That'll give us the current in the circuit. 100 divided by 120 gives us 0 0.833. That will be the current. I is equal to 0 0.833 amps. Now looking at this equation, notice that the resistance is equal to the power, which is given, divided by the current, which we just found. So in this case, we don't even need to use Ohm's law. It's simply enough to use these two equations. So let's plug in what we know here. The resistance is equal to the power, which is 100 watts, divided by the current, which is 0 0.833 amps, and then we'll square that. So square that number, take the inverse of that and multiply that times 100, and that's 144 ohms. Resistance equals 144 ohms. Thus, a light bulb that is 100 watts connected to a 120 volt source, which is the typical household voltage, then we can see that the resistance is equal to 144 ohms. Now what would happen if we had a light bulb that was only 60 watts? What is the resistance of a 60 watt light bulb? And the result may be somewhat surprising, so let's work it out. So in this case, let's now do a second problem where now the power is equal to 60 watts. So we have a 60 watt light bulb. We use the same analogy here. So in this case, we say that the current in the circuit is equal to 60 watts divided by 120 volts, and that would be exactly 0 0.5 amps. So we only would have a half amp being drawn from the voltage source by a 60 watt light bulb. We then plug that into our resistance equals power divided by I squared equation. Resistance equals power divided by I squared. The power is 60 watts, and the current squared would be 0 0.5 amps quantity squared. So now we have 60 divided by 0.25, which is 240 ohms. Notice that a 100 watt light bulb has a resistance of 140 ohms and a 60 watt light bulb actually has a higher resistance. A higher resistance means a lower current, a lower current means less power consumed. Again, power equals I square R. So therefore, there's a larger increase in the current with a smaller resistance, therefore a higher power used. 
therefore a higher wattage light bulb. And if we use, have a smaller current, because we have a higher resistant light bulb, we then have a lower power consuming light bulb and only a 60 watt light bulb at 240 ohms and a 100 watt light bulb at 144 ohms. Interesting enough, but that's how you find the power consumed, the current and the resistance of a circuit when you're given the power and the voltage.